I'll stack up. Eagle Douglas, Fatalsi, and Junk here. They sound weird too. So as you can see, it double attacks, or it attacks two units at once. If you only send one uh, commander against these things, uh, it will attack that commander twice. That's why I meant by twice. So now you get you need to choose this event, I believe. So it just basically explains the entire thing. You got no time for that. looking for commanders that can are strong enough to speak this thing. Easy peasy. Apparently he's not able to kill him much. This should be the final one. All right, so these are the set, the final sets of battles that will determine uh, that will determine uh, true route. So as you can see, these are all the uh, all the space disasters that we've encountered so far, except for a few of them. Uh, these commanders that you have here are incredibly powered up. Um, you'll see when you see when I bring up these things here. They are ex they all have one ship each, like a capital ship of sorts. They're actually really really strong. So um, yeah. Catherine, the reason why you I emphasize uh, ranking up your commanders really uh, uh, up to par is because of this reason. If you have level 10, if you have all your special commanders rank 10, then their um, stats will also increase with that as well. Catherine is level 0, thus she's really, really weak. <laughs> if she were rank 10, obviously she'd be much stronger, but unfortunately we can't really do much about that right now. I mean, on top of that, her, her uh, stats... Her negative 40% stats stuff, yeah, that doesn't really help much either. So, stats still apply here. So now here, it's like a guessing, it's like a calculation game. You need to decide how best you need to go about, um, uh, like, you know, destroying these things. So like here, this thing has, this is obviously the most uh, powerful one in terms of health. This thing has... A pass is called Force Field, where enemy uh, friendly fe fleets within the same battlefield have laser damage reduced by 2100, but it doesn't have that for itself. Wide attack, attack 2, they're basically the same thing. Oh, except attack 2 is attacks twice, it attacks 2 commanders, whereas wide is attack all of these, so I guess they're not exactly the same. These two don't have that, but these guys do. By the way, the music is fittingly creepy.
So we can send Togosuyoshi by himself here and it won't really do much. Uh, it won't be much, they won't be much of a threat. These guys we kinda need to worry about because this guy has 9,000 HP. Like, we need to, we need to figure out some way to deal with them. So in fact, I'm not gonna send him out there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send, uh, let's see. I'll send Sarah Britton alone. Toshiyoshi can handle this guy along with, uh, let's see here. This is gonna be really tough. Right here, Adolf can handle this guy by himself, by herself. So these guys should be able to handle him. We'll try this out. You can always try again as well. Commanders also say things, uh, say some things, uh, say the dialogues differently as well, so that's kind of interesting to say, to hear. Alright, so we'll have to one-shot this guy first. Wow, really? Apparently, that, that guy receives, uh, 2100 damage, reduced damage as well. I don't remember that happening. I may have to restart this. Because I'm pretty sure Elise Britton can't be isn't able to destroy that thing by herself. That fucking sucks. <laughs> All of these influences, so we need to we need to basically restart. I'm pretty sure if you retreat, it'll let you let you retry from strategy phase. Yeah. So we need to rethink that. Obviously, we need to send uh so Tobisushi there. We'll send these two over here. Send uh Sarah Britton here. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, I know. I remember like this. This is gonna be a bitch though. Let's see. We'll take this. And yeah, with that, Togosyoshi will be easily be able to one uh, two shot that guy. off with one last ball. And we've got the first uh, battle down. So with that, now Tanaka Raizo has joined the fray with his own ship. Now we have a different set of battles here. So the strongest among them is obviously this guy. So let's send, obviously, send Tomosuyoshi over there to, to, to combat them. Here, so these guys are pretty strong. Their, their, their attacks aren't that menacing, though. Superb roaring engines, droid that comes from land to space. Okay. <laughs> That's not really a passive skill at all, but thanks for telling us that. The thing about Tanaka Raizo is that even even with max level, um, his, uh, his ship is very weak, um health wise and on top of that because he's he he attacks with cannon his cannon attack is ridiculous but uh obviously because he attacks with cannon if he gets destroyed by if he gets hit at all then you're kind of screwed he's kind of screwed so you, you can't really expect to use him that well i mean you have to pre get pretty damn lucky in order to be able to get wave of one shot off um but with that in mind 
Sentaka Ryza with Toshiyoshi though. Huh, is that a good idea though? I'm trying to think. These guys are obviously the weaker ones. So what we could do is send these two over here. Send these three back here. We could try that, but it, again, if it doesn't work, then obviously we can always try it again. Usually, though, they usually target Tanaka Ryzo. This time, surprisingly enough, they didn't. So you get to basically one shot him. <laughs> this one's kind of difficult to think about. Catherine has 18, uh, 1080 uh, missile damage. This guy's a wide attacker, though. He's not necessarily a wide attacker. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll just have to use it by trial by error. This. I'll take that thing. I'll take this thing. Wait, did those missile damage? Did those, did those missile attacks not even do anything? Well, I'm pretty sure they did something. Take him out in one shot. Catherine's gonna die. Please, dead. And they're dead. And now this is the final battle. T condition unknown. <laughs> Sunny. These things don't do anything. They are completely optional. I like to destroy them anyway, just because, you know. But this is where the main battle is at. So I recommend you send your strongest units against them. Mainly these guys. I mean, you could take a risk and try sending Tanko Rizo against them, but he's gonna get killed every single time. So, yeah. so this is the queen. Uh, you want to destroy that first. Force field. You want to take this guy out first because this force field it protects everyone else. Send those guys over there. Send this guy over here. Send these two over here. Why not? <laughs> Just because. I don't know what these things are supposed to be, but hey, whatever. And this is where the music kicks in. This should be able to kill it with two shots. Never mind. It's not. Uh, this isn't exactly the most difficult um, final boss you have uh, that there is, but it's still pretty cool. And the game is done. We beat the game. I don't know what those supposed to be. Supposed to be and again, I don't know what who Ryu Tatosu is supposed to be. Either. Probably some ancestor Shibigami or something. <laughs> and this is the final cutscene. <laughs> ここ
待って私も水着に<笑>今日は生陸療養しようじゃ遠隔操作はできるぞなんというつやぱのあやが平和だね And that's the end. GG! Great. Alright, guys, that's the end of True Out number one after how many months of playing this game? Um, we have finally reached the end. So, thank you guys very much for watching. For those of you guys who have watched for this entire time and have waited patiently for me to get out these episodes. But, anyways, if you would like to see more routes, uh, from from me from playing through Dai Teikoku, then uh, please do leave a comment below, and uh, yeah, we'll see what I can do. I'm not really too fond of playing Dai Teikoku though, because uh, I don't know. It used to be cool for a while to me, the gameplay uh, gameplay wise, but uh, so f it's kind of died on me uh, as of late. So, <sighs> anyways, regardless, it was a fun time. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And this is this will be the end of the Dai Teikoku series until I decide what to do with it later on. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. You should